Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about the overjustification effect. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the overjustification effect. Ever hear that phrase, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life? Well, it might not necessarily be true. Sometimes being paid to do what you love actually decreases your motivation to do that thing. It's called the overjustification effect. In one of our other channel videos, we talked about the difference between intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. Here's a quick sum up. No matter what they're doing, people have different reasons. If they want to do things to get paid or to be praised by other people, that's extrinsic motivation. If they're doing that behavior for personal reasons, just because they want to, that's intrinsic motivation. The overjustification effect happens when someone starts being paid or praised, extrinsically motivated, for a task which previously they found rewarding all on its own, intrinsically motivating. Their intrinsic motivation to do that behavior decreases, meaning they don't want to do it anymore. And really, this seems backwards. We've all had dreams. We're doing the thing we love, whether it's playing basketball or knitting or <laughs> eating gummy bears. <laughs> Could turn into our dream job and start paying us a bunch of money or earning praise from people we respect. The overjustification effect would indicate that if that does happen and our hobby turns into a job, we'll stop liking that hobby. Something that we used to love just because it was fun now we don't find it fun anymore. There are a lot of different theories out there as to why the overjustification effect occurs. One theory is that extrinsically motivating someone makes that behavior feel like work. That task then becomes associated with being not our personal choice, and then we can't find it as intrinsically motivating. Some scientists think that the overjustification effect could be due to people paying more attention to extrinsic things like praise or money. They simply stop paying attention to if they actually enjoy doing that task anymore. Others think it might be more of a learned behavior. When you start doing a hobby as a job, that hobby then becomes associated with other job-like things such as bills and spreadsheets and taxes. Since there's not a lot of intrinsic motivation associated with those other job-like tasks, your intrinsic motivation decreases. Another theory is that maybe people just aren't really great at identifying just how important motivation is to whatever we're doing. Basically, if we start getting an extrinsic reward, we start focusing on that reward and our intrinsic drive falls by the wayside. Really? Any of these theories could be true. It's just too soon to tell now. We'll have to wait on the science a bit more. But if you are feeling intrinsically motivated to learn more about the science of psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. You know, if eating gummy bears was a job, I would be a millionaire.